Hello and welcome to another episode of AI Buzz. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're talking about a really, really cool topic, and that is Facebook Profit. What Facebook Profit is, is it's a time series forecasting package put out by Facebook, and it really simplifies time series forecasts. So this is implemented in both R and Python, and it allows really automated forecasts that are able to be kind of hand-tuned, has a lot of prepackaged functionality right out of the gate. Uh, so this is a, a really awesome release out of Facebook, and so happy that they made this open source. And what's really cool about this is it was actually used internally by the company for many years. Uh, it was open sourced back in 2017, but it's beginning to gain more popularity and, and use among the data science community. So a couple of the big advantages of it, uh, they claim it's accurate and fast, automatic, you're able to tune it, uh, available in both R and Python. So I have a couple more in-depth looks at this uh, package. And really how it works is it's got a bunch of different components to it. It's going to be looking at a lot of different pieces of the time series uh, problem that people try to solve. And what's really fascinating about time series, every, everyone's interested in solving time series questions, right? Because you're able to predict the future, ideally. And while it sounds awesome in theory, there's a million different things that throw curveballs into these types of predictions. There's huge seasonalities to just about anything you can you can try to predict with, with time series uh, in the real world. So um, weekends don't function the same as weekdays. Holidays uh, are very strange data points usually. Um, the entire week or month or year or decade is really having its own unique patterns to it. So the fact that this packages together a lot of those cool uh, functions is, is really great. And I'm gonna go into a little bit more about how exactly the package works. So it's got four pieces and they're essentially broken out by uh, time range. So the first one is it's going to detect your uh, kind of inflection points. Your, they, they call them change points in the data where it senses a change in direction. So uh, this might be um, your, your peak business hours compared to your, your off-peak business hours. It's going to find that day over day. Uh, this is a really good example here. So... Um, you know, this, this, this might be when your customers are buying the most, then, the, then it kind of dies down uh, in certain time zones and then picks back up again the next day. There's a yearly component, so capturing things like holidays, for example. Uh, they try to model that with a Fourier series. And there's a weekly seasonal component that uses dummy variables, and the user provides a list of really important holidays. Uh, the user providing a list of holidays is the best way for the model to really be hand-fed that information rather than try to figure that out for itself. The more information you can really provide the model, uh, the less it's going to have to learn on its own. So that's kind of a high-level overview of how Profit works. And a couple of the really cool projects that I've seen with this package uh, I've been detailed in some Medium articles. So this one by uh, Winston Robson does a really good job of walking through the package and showing a cool example of trying to predict uh, Walmart stock price. So essentially he's giving some, some background here. Uh, actually the same uh, graphic used on the Facebook website. <laughs> um, but what I really want to skip to is down here where he's actually showing the prediction and what profit is outputting. So here he has 
the stock price of uh, WMP, uh, WNT, that's the uh, stock ticker of Walmart stock, uh, versus time. And he has historical data going way back. <laughs> and predicting stock price is something that I'm always a little bit skeptical of with machine learning models, uh, not only because everyone wants to do it, it's just because there's there's just an infinite number of factors that could affect the stock price of uh, Walmart. And they're likely for a lot of these events that will change the stock price, there might not be a historical indicator. This might not have ever happened before. Uh, you know, you take a look at the COVID-19 crisis. Is there a historical example of uh, a global pandemic uh, back to 1980? I don't believe so, at least not to the scale of, of COVID-19. <laughs> so trying to predict those types of events with, with these uh, types of models is, is just about impossible, but it can capture uh, patterns that repeat year, year over year, week over week, uh, month over month, things like that. So it's very useful for that, less useful for predicting these these kind of once in a generation uh, blips, if you will. So he's able to uh, train this model, uh, predict with his, his forecast, and essentially his output is looking a lot like this. And the black data points he mentions here are his actual uh, stock ticker prices, and then the the light blue around it is kind of his uh, uh, for, is kind of his forecast region, and then he's predicting the stock price is, is shooting up like this. And these, I imagine, are kind of his uh, confidence intervals. So worst case scenario, he thinks it's going to go uh, as low as this. Best case scenario, it's going to go to the moon. <laughs> so read into that what you will. Um, the tool is extremely useful from what I see so far, and I'm hoping to dive uh, in greater detail into Facebook Profit and, and try it out on some cool time series examples. I, I love trying to predict things with time series. It might be my favorite category of, of problem. Uh, I just think it's really cool to try to predict things in the future that haven't happened. Um, but yeah, if I, if I find any good examples, I'll, I'll definitely try to make uh, another video on those. Uh, it's about all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you liked it, please drop a like and a subscribe uh, for this new channel. Hoping to put out a lot more content. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much. Bye.